Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are unboxing the Ryobi Evercharge 18 volt one plus LED area light kit, the P784K. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Before we jump into it, like always, we'll go ahead and look at some of the specs on the box. This is the Evercharge system and it is the kit. So it does have the P180 charger, the wall mount adapter, and it comes with the P102 battery. So both of those are included in the kit. Now it is an LED light. It does have three brightness modes with a total uh, or a high brightness of 400 lumens. It says 48 hours of runtime. Now it says that, but it also specifies that that 48 hours comes with the P108 battery, which this does not include. With the included battery, the P102, it's got a rating of 27 hours. So 27 hours, not too bad for a emergency light here, but if you do have a 108 battery, you could throw your P108 battery in, which is the four amp hour battery, and get that 48 hours of runtime that they talk about here on the box. It does have a total weight, it says of one pound, and a couple other things, it's auto on during power outages. So if it senses that the power's off, I assume that's just through the outlet, we'll test that here in a minute, but it will automatically turn on. It has an emergency flash mode, uh, convenient handle, and obviously a 360 degree output because it is an area light. So it should illuminate the entire area, which is, again, the whole point of the, the nice thing about having an emergency light like this. So pretty cool, guys. Um, oh, one other thing, it does have the USB charging port. It says a one amp uh, output, I believe. Yeah, built in one amp USB charging port on the front, which is again nice because in emergency you need to pull a little, little power. I assume that will also uh, drain the battery faster so you're going to lose some of your run time. All right, so pretty excited for this one. Let's go ahead and open it up now. All right, right on top here, we have the operator's manual instructions there. Here is the Evercharge. This is the P180 Evercharge uh, wall mount. I believe this is similar to the vacuums uh, that you can get as well. So we'll take a look at that, but uh, it's similar. It doesn't have the detachable like one of the other ones we have, but uh, P180 uh, wall mount. And then we have the area light. It's actually a little smaller than I thought it would be. But uh, there it is. It's got the convenient handle on the top. So, and, uh, yep, there that is. Let's see. So that's everything out of the box. We just have the battery. This is the P102 battery here. There we go. Yeah, the 1.3 amp hour P102 battery. And that's everything. So let's run through it real quick again. We have uh, operator's manual instructions there. We have the P180 wall mount here. Plug that in. We have your the P784 Evercharge 1 plus 18 volt LED area light and your P102 uh, 1.3 amp hour battery. And it's pretty simple here. Just right on the bottom just extends the, the unit just a little bit and the wall mount so it, it mounts right here on this side. So the Evercharge uh, mount here again, and this just mounts just like that. So 
for some reason in my head I had it uh, had it mounting this way but obviously that wouldn't make sense with the with the battery so yeah it mounts just like that on your wall pretty pretty straightforward there now what we'll do let's go ahead and while we've got it here we'll go ahead and just turn it on so the LED or the the button is on the front so again if you have it mounted on your wall the power button is right here on the front we can go ahead and press that which it doesn't seem to like to do let's see interesting so while it's mounted it's one two three okay so it does start on high mode so if we turn it on that's one that's your 400 lumens that's on high there's two not too different three is a lot dimmer and then four is off so one two three four to get off so that is the brightness but it didn't seem to like to turn it didn't want to turn on while it was on the charger so while it's on the charger it does not turn on which is interesting we can see here let's go ahead we'll uh We'll semi-mount this for a second. So we've got it mounted there, and we'll just plug it in. And if it's plugged in, yeah, it's still not interesting. And there's a green light, so it shows us down here it's charging. So the green light on the bottom lets us know that it is charging here. But what's interesting is when we press the, it will not turn on with that so that's that's interesting now let's see what happens when we unplug it it seems hmm oh there we go so auto on after it's been even just unplugged so it it recognized that the power it wasn't getting any more power it recognized it's still on the ever charge charger and so it automatically turns on very interesting so and it does go up to the 400 lumens I wonder if there's a way and would have to look uh, to set it so that it goes to your lower power mode but even on 400 lumens it's it's saying that it can last uh, for a long time so and then if we plug it back in say powers back on automatically turns back off so and the charger yep there it goes green light Shows us that it's that it's charging there, so pretty interesting. Um, we're gonna just take a peek here to see it will charge through the USB, but it only charge for four hours. If the light's not on, it only charges for four hours, and then you'll have to turn the light back on. So it's kind of nice. This is a portable uh, USB charger. Again, the USB being right here on this side. There's a little flap. And we'll take this off real quick to. To show this so right here on the this side it has uh, oh it also has the guide so this is your your little key for charging so evaluate charging and charged uh, again though here's the USB on the front so you can plug in your device so this this becomes just a charging it just sucks the battery um, but if you've charged for more than four hours again it says that it will um, stop charging after four hours if the light's not on so in order to continue charging you just need to turn the light on and then turn it back off and then it'll stay it'll give you another four hours of charge there so kind of nice so that's another thing we wanted to know real quick was how do you activate the emergency mode or the flash sequence so in order to do that you press and hold the the light button for three seconds so we'll do that now so press and hold one two and three and now it's in emergency mode so we've got it flashing that can get real annoying real quick but uh, that's that's your emergency mode so press and hold for three seconds gets us into the emergency mode there okay so another interesting thing guys is that the light will only turn on automatically for 10 minutes in the emergency situation so when we unplug the power and it's connected to the evercharge mount it will turn on but only for 10 minutes 
So my thought is in a power outage, you're almost going to want to go get the light while it's on during that 10 minutes and then turn it on or activate it uh, manually so that it stays on for a full four hours or a uh, full 48 hours or 27 hours, depending on which battery you have in it. All right, guys, we are in the dark. We've got the light here in front of us on the table. We'll go ahead and turn it on here. So this is our 400 lumens, uh, the high mode, which it defaults to to start off. And then if we hit one more, that goes down to our medium. And that is the low mode. So even on low mode in this area, it is still a pretty good illumination. Um, we're in the garage and so it's, uh, it's not illuminating everything, but I generally can see pretty far with this light on. It's doing a pretty good job. But uh, even if we come back to the 400, 400 gives it all the way to the walls. I can see everything. Obviously casting a lot of shadows just based on what it's doing, but not too bad as far as illumination goes. I think it's, uh, it's right, right where I would expect it to be. In fact, on 400, it's, it's bright enough that I don't want to look directly at it because it's, it's, got, it's got a good, good little output. All right, guys, now we're gonna test out the USB charging capabilities here. Uh, we've got my phone, my charger, and we'll just open up the USB port there, get that little rubber piece out of the way. Go ahead and plug that in and plug that in and immediately shows us that it's charging. So that's nice. Um, again, it automatically will start charging even if the light's not powered on, which is nice. But it did say up to four hours, which hopefully your phone can get charged in four hours or whatever you're charging. Again, it's only a one amp output. So it's not a lot of power coming out of it. Um, not going to charge up like a big tablet very fast, but pretty nice little convenient uh, portable charger. Take advantage of that. All right, guys, and now for some of our first impressions. So far, I'm actually really excited about this light. The Ryobi lights that we've tried in the past or some of the lights we've had are the handheld lights or the, uh, the work lights that um, kind of miss what this does. So the handheld light is nice because you got a nice directional light. Um, it's got a swivel head on it so you can direct where you're working or what you're looking at. And the work light is really nice because it just illuminates everything. It's super bright and in a, in a direct area. What's unique or different about this because it's a 360 design and it's only 400 lumens, it's not nearly as bright, which means you don't if you stare directly at it, it's not going to blind you. That's the thing with the work light is every time you accidentally turn that on and it's facing you, it is just blinding the light that comes off of that. Where with this one, you can turn it on and look directly at it and it's not bad. It actually puts off a lot of light, but you can look at it, look away, and you're not seeing stars or uh, you know, whatever. And you can also t t tone it down, which is really nice. I like the idea of being able to turn it to low mode. Um, I personally, I'd almost like to see it go through the low first. Um, if there's an outage or something like that, I'd rather it conserve battery and be in low mode first. But that's, you know, my own thing. For a little light that illuminates an area though, this is a really cool little light to do that. On top of that with the EverCharge system, this is a winner in my opinion. A real awesome tool that I think we're gonna put in multiple locations, probably gonna pick up a couple more of these. Maybe have one in the garage, one in the basement, one upstairs, just in a couple uh, key locations if the power goes out. This could be a, a game changer, honestly. And, and the fact that it's got the USB charger on the front uh, allows you to charge up your phone. Again, in an emergency situation, if you need that power, need the ability to communicate, um, really a nice, nice addition. I think, I think they thought this one through pretty well. Um, and to come with a, uh, at least one battery is nice, but uh, I'll probably throw four amp hours or even the six or nine amp hour battery if you got it, um, you could throw that in here and, and get even longer uh, run time. 
So pretty cool little light. I think it's a, it's a great addition to anybody's collection, but even if you're just getting started, this is a great way to jump into the Ryobi family and have a nice emergency LED area light. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure, as always, to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already because we're uploading new videos each and every week. This is part of our 12 days of Christmas that we're doing right now, so tune in every day leading up to Christmas because we're putting out a new box opening video, new tool every single day. So stay tuned for that. Like always, guys, comment below to let us know what tool you want to see next. Thanks for watching. For storage and portability. Wow. Wow. You know what wow is upside down? Mom. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, compact size, fade free power, fade free power right on the box. Don't worry. I get it. Don't, don't believe everything you read is really nice. You know, 400 lumens isn't crazy bright, but it's enough that if you look at it, uh, one like the work lights that I don't have up right now. Where are all my work lights? Um, <laughs> I've got to have a work light around here somewhere.